Hello everyone, I'm making this video to talk about a serious problem with the AMOLED displays of Redmi Note 11 series phones. This particular comment had made me consider making this specific video for Note 11 series phones. As previously, I had made a video on problems of Poco X4 Pro 5G where I had described how the phone's display was not calibrated properly. You can see that video by clicking on the eye icon on the top right corner of the screen. Now, without any further delay, I'll show you all the problems that are present on Redmi Note 11 series AMOLED displays. The photos that you are seeing here were taken on Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus at minimum screen brightness in a dark room. The first image shows how a white image looks like at lowest possible brightness on the phone. The lower portion of the display seems to have a visible discoloration. If this is not a hardware issue, I am sure that this is because of improper software optimization. The second photo here shows how a grey image looks like in the lowest possible brightness in a dark room on Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus display. Here also, discoloration is visible at bottom section. I am sure that you don't understand the seriousness of this problem by looking at these two images only. Hence, I'll take three images, a white image, a dark grey image and a black image and I will test these on three different phones with AMOLED displays at the lowest possible brightness in a dark room. So for this purpose, you can download these images either from Google search as wallpapers or you can go over to the Play Store and download a display tester app as uh, like here. All these apps here are well equipped for our purpose and can show the exact results. Our Samsung phones are the masters in case of AMOLED displays. I'll use Samsung M30s, a budget phone from 2018 and Samsung S20 Ultra, a flagship phone from 2020 as reference phones. Before starting the test, I would recommend you to consider subscribing to my channel to get more informative videos on various problems present on various different smartphone brands that no other YouTuber or tech reviewer talks about on. So for the first case, all these phones are having a white image and all phones are at the lowest possible brightness of screen. Now, as you can see, the surrounding is also dark and we are in a dark room. The display on Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus is definitely having some issue. When we are comparing with Samsung M30s and Samsung S20 Ultra, we can see that there is visible discoloration in a certain portion of the screen when the white image is displayed. Now moving over, we are going to consider the dark grey color and the difference is now more prominent. The AMOLED on Redmi seems to be not working uniformly. Finally, coming to black color, both Samsung phones seamlessly merges with the surrounding black darkness while the display on Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus gives off a whitish color. This whitish color on Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus definitely makes me remember backlight bleeding on old phones. But blacklight bleeding should be impossible for an AMOLED display as there is no backlight in AMOLED displays. Uh, rather, the LEDs themselves light up the display. Hence, this should be a hardware issue. But the thing to note is that sometimes when you are restarting the phone, this problem does not exist. So this helps us come to the conclusion that this problem with the AMOLED display is mostly because of software and not because of hardware. Or probably both software and hardware do play a major role and contribute equally to this problem. Now let's wait and see whether further updates from Xiaomi will fix this issue on Redmi Note 11 Pro series. Now coming over to the final conclusion, we can see how both the Samsung budget as well as the Samsung flagship phones have an almost superior AMOLED display quality which is not present on displays of both Redmi and Poco phones with AMOLED. So what I want to say is that if you are getting a Xiaomi device after experiencing AMOLED on Samsung, you are not going to be comfortable with it. Now in case of any questions or doubts, Please mention in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing to my channel for motivating me. Bye.